man charged in a sim similar kidnapping in Boston is now facing some new charges. WBZ's Paul Burton is live in Charlestown with that story. Paul? Well, today's arraignment took a different twist. His, def his defense attorney says Victor Pena was supposed to be arraigned on kidnapping charges as well as three additional charges of aggravated, aggravated rape. But that did not happen. Instead, the judge decided to wait and combine all four charges at a hearing later this month. Keeping his head down as he walked into the courtroom, Victor Pena faced a judge today. The 38-year-old has been charged with kidnapping a 23-year-old Boston woman back in January after the two left Hennessy's bar together. For the past few weeks, Pena has undergone a mental health evaluation at Bridgewater State Hospital. Prosecutors say doctors there have confirmed he's competent to stand trial. His arraignment today took a different twist after the judge decided to hold off until he can be arraigned on all four pending charges later this month. His defense attorney says those charges include three counts of aggravated rape. The kidnapping was a target of a massive search. The woman was found in Pena's apartment in Charlestown three days later. Today, Pena's attorney and his brother spoke outside the court. I'm not going to, technically speaking, the new charges haven't been arraigned, and so I'm not going to comment on the new charges. Uh, but what I can say is that what he has been charged with right now is kidnapping, right? So kidnapping requires a lack of consent. And at this point, we know what you know, right? We know that uh, at some point, according to video, that the, uh, the video was, uh, shows them walking uh, together without force. I do everything for him because I know he's innocent, and I know things will be in the dark for a little while because this is going to be quick to prove it. But eventually, truth is going to come out and things are going to get more clear for us. So again, Pena was not officially arraigned today. He will be back in court on March 15th for a dangerousness hearing where he will face all four charges, including kidnapping and three counts of aggravated rape. For now, we're live in Charlestown. I'm Paul Burton, WBZ News.